if you are trapped in the house and quarantined, guess what? ESPN is going to air some Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder programming. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We work. Sign up for ESPN Plus below using my link. And it actually pertains to this particular video. So stay tuned to the details. And it helps the channel. You can also get ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus, all three apps. Which would probably be good for a lot of you that are trapped in the house away from work during this unfortunate time quarantine on lockdown and it does help the channel that's again espn plus hulu disney plus all three apps 12.99 a month for some content now i got this email it says deontay wilder tyson fury special encore presentation to headline action-packed evening on espn monday march 23rd it says wilder versus fury 2 streaming on demand on espn plus beginning monday so if you have espn plus then you'll be able to watch it if not click my link and set it up and they have wilder fury 2 if you want to examine that fight again it says four fight wilder fury 2 card to air at 8 p.m on espn following a special re-air of wilder fury 1 so they're going to show wilder fury 1 as well that's 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And then they have an encore presentation of OJ Made in America. And that shifts to March 24th through the 26th. So, it says ESPN will air the non-pay-per-view premiere of the heavyweight rematch that captured the world's attention last month. So, the to get it, you would have had to get pay-per-view. But now they're going to re-air it for you. WBC and lineal heavyweight champion Tyson the Gypsy King Fury's masterpiece victory over Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder will debut on ESPN Monday, March 23rd. ESPN will air the four fight card beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern, so 5 p.m. if you live in Cali like me, which will be preceded by a special re air presentation of Fury and Wilder's disputed December 2018 draw. Right? 7 p.m. Eastern. The entire Wilder Fury 2 pay-per-view broadcast will also become available for replay to all ESPN Plus subscribers beginning Monday. So you can also look at it at ESPN Plus, you know, in case you didn't get to watch the whole fight and had to watch highlights because you didn't order the pay-per-view or had to work or something. It says the Wilder Fury 2 presentation will also feature bouts from Charles Martin, Gerald Washington, um... Emmanuel Navarrete, basically that six foot seven dude, just everyone that fought on the undercard. Wilder Fury adds to ESPN's week of programming, which also includes an encore presentation of the Academy Award winning 30 for 30 documentary, OJ Made in America. I actually haven't watched that. This documentary will now shift to air over four nights in primetime from March 24th to 26th. The film originally premiered at the Sundance Film Festival in January 2016, debuted on ABC ESPN in June 2016, and won the Oscar for Best Documentary Feature at the 89 uh, Academy Awards in 2017. Is that the one with Cuba Gooding Jr.? Or is this a 30 for 30? It says ESPN will also feature a collection of some of the greatest fights including dozens of bouts from the top-ranked library available on demand. The collection includes heavyweight showdowns legendary like Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier 3, Ali versus Foreman, Joe Lewis versus Billy Kahn, Mike Tyson, Larry Holmes, Jack Dempsey, and Gene Tooney, Max Bear, James Braddock. Damn, they have some classics. Ali versus Sonny Liston 1 and 2 and many more. So another reason to get ESPN Plus, click on my link. You guys click on that link and you can get access to all these fights. 
you know, this is a great time to study the greats like Muhammad Ali, Larry Holmes, George Foreman, etc. So this is just a reiterating. I thought they said Daniel Day Lewis, the actor from the Last of the Mohicans in Gangs of New York, but it says Daniel Lewis. Yeah, y'all don't need to see that part. So just want to give you guys the advice in case you want to rewatch any of that. Um, check out my latest video, Wilder versus Fury. There's some controversies going on right now. Glove Gate, also controversies with Farmer Gate, Boar Gate. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. We working. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.